Welcome to Ready Set RC, and today we got a little something different for the channel. I have a 116th scale Traps Land Cruiser FJ30 1983 edition. I'm gonna call this for what this is, guys. This isn't gonna be for everybody, but for those of you that like RC models, and what I mean by that is RCs that are more for show than they are for its functionality, you're gonna like this one. Uh, this one I purchased from Asia Tees. It's going for about, I'm just gonna round it, 70 bucks. Shipping is a, is a lot, so if you're gonna order something from Asia Tees, just don't order this, order something else, which is what I did. But for scale realism, it comes with quite a bit. And if you like FJs, you're gonna like this. Now, Trasps is one of those manufacturers you guys may, may or may not be familiar with it. So if you guys are familiar with HG and the HG military vehicles that came out a few years back and they were all metal, same company. Uh, I purchased it because I've, I have a Trasps uh, Hummer and you guys may or may not have seen that on the channel, but I like that, so I figured let's pick this up, 70 bucks. So this RC has multiple functionalities. You have a horn, engine noises, smoke coming out of the tailpipe here. Uh, the doors all open up, the side mirrors all fold in, I, the wipers move, the hood opens up too, and that's where your ESC is going to be. Multiple different headlight functions. This bumper does not come on it. That's one of the pain in the butts because you got to remove these front tires and the hubs that are on them are horrible to come off. Uh, but you can get that bumper on as you see that I have here. The wheel, the spare wheel in the back, this also does not come on mounted on the truck. You have to mount that on. But this was very simple to get onto the truck. The stickers, none of the stickers come on this. And the stickers, that's the other pain too. None of them are cut to shape. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of trimming for the stickers. They don't quite go where they, meaning the sticker sheet shows. And I'll show you guys everything else that comes with this truck. So talking about some of the boring stuff, this is the USB-C cable that you're gonna to use to charge the battery. The battery looks like it's a lithium ion battery, but I'll show you guys the way that it goes in is kind of proprietary. You get a couple Allen wrenches, a T-wrench, Looks like some double-sided tape and a Phillips head screwdriver, which is what I use to mount the front bumper. Most of the hardware on there is going to be Phillips. You get instructions for the smoker, which is what I mentioned in regards to the exhaust. Full instruction sheet, and it's also in English so that you guys are aware it's not solely in a foreign language. It is in English too, so you guys can walk through it very easily. And it gives you, I'm gonna to point to this really clearly. It gives you the dip switch settings that are on here too. And, and that's one thing I'm gonna show you once we go over to the controller. The agonizing stickers, as you guys see, that I've decided to put some, some I did not. Stickers do not come crooked like this. This is me seeing what fits, what I like, and what I didn't like. I didn't like these stickers on there, so I chose to put them right back on the sticker sheet. These were completely too big to fit under the door, so no use. I was gonna use them, but there's no use if that's gonna be the case. And then we have the controller, and I gotta say, guys, the controller feels really good in the hands. We've seen models that look like this. This one doesn't have any branding on it whatsoever. It takes four triple A's down below, and it's one of those with the slide, and the, the lid stays on, clip and puts back on. There's a little bit of a grip on the back side. It's a plastic grip, but there's a little bit of a grip on there that lets it stay firmly in the hands, easily capable of one-handed one, side, one driving, and the throttle feels nice and springy. It, there looks like there is a loop on the back side if you wanna put a lanyard on there, and then the functionality button. So these right here are going to be solely for your steering trim and your steering dual rates. All of these dip switches are going to control either changing the throttle trim, changing the throttle dual rate, changing the reverse of the steering and throttle, changing the lights on, changing the lights 
off, changing the horn on, changing the horn off. You kind of you kind of get the theme here. So these dip switches are going to change everything. Right now, this is how I like my dip switch settings. Um, because I prefer you're gonna see, I prefer the motor, I prefer the engine sound to be off. And then you have the on-off switch down here. And the LED functions are gonna show you either green being bind, the flashing right now showing that it's not bound, and then there's a blue which tells you that the battery is low. So for the truck, touch on the tires very quickly. These do have a foam insert on them. They do feel nice. They're not tacky. As I mentioned, this is not a truck I would say is comp level or anything like that. It is a model that can move, and that's probably the best way to put it. The front bumper, to me, it was a pain. You have to remove these tires, which is, which is one thing, but then the steering link down here, you have to get to the other two screws down here. Now, you don't have to mount them. As you can see, the bumper's on there firm, and you're not, this is a model, so you're not gonna be driving this and beating the hell out of it. You don't really need those two screws. I mounted the four screws that come on each side. Hopefully you can see that on each side of the bumper mount. And that's more than enough. You don't need anything else. The doors are a little bit of a pain to open and I can't get my nail in there and do not press this right here. Cause if you press this, this will fall in between the door and it becomes a pain in the butt to try to put it back in. I'll show you what I use. Since I don't see myself going in and out of this often, I use my hobby knife, got in between the wedge, pried the door open, just like that. And then the door's open for you. The interior is, and I don't know if that's gonna show up well, is nice and scaled, guys. It looks really good and the interior lights up. And then the rear, you have a swing for the spare tire. And same deal with the rear. Gonna use my trusty hobby knife tool, get in between the wedge, pry it open. The doors are all held down with magnets. So far, me just driving around in my house, it's been fine. Doors swing open. There is a hitch for the trailer. The trailer that's shown on the box does not come with the RC. I wasn't expecting it to. This is the battery. And as I mentioned, you guys can see what I was talking about. It has like a proprietary deal to it. I opened this battery up. There's, this, there's like a circuit board in there, and then what looks to be, you guys hopefully can see that, a lithium ion battery in there. The connectors, and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pick that up. It's just two slots right there, which, which connect back to these leads on the battery case. And that's why I say this is proprietary. You're not gonna be able to really do much to this. Now this battery also comes with a little cover like this to go right here, I'm running it without it. I didn't see the need of constantly doing this on and off like if I gotta charge the battery. So the battery goes right in, slides in, locks in place. The smoker, there is also a little tab in there. You remove that tab and that's how you put the smoking agent to do the smoker for it. I'm not gonna do that. I didn't get that for all this. I just wanted a nice little FJ40 to put around the house. The spare is held on with a magnet. Nice composite bumper, LEDs throughout. Underneath, this is what you're working with. You have a four link suspension in the front, four link suspension in the rear, composite drive shafts in the front and also in the rear. Looks like we have a composite axle in the rear and also in the front. We have a metal frame chassis. We have a metal chassis. I don't know what it's gonna to take to get this body off. It looks to be like about six to eight screws. I could be wrong with that. I have no desire to upgrade this anytime soon. I have a lot of the projects that I'm working with. The shocks feel fairly, a little bit of binding, but as I mentioned before, you're not buying this because you are looking to kill it on the trails. You're buying this because you like FJs. So here, we, so here we are guys, battery all in, all powered up. There's only one speed, very clear, there's not two speed on this. I'm pressing it about that much and then it starts to move. Yeah, so there's like zero modulation when it comes down to the and then for some reason, when you turn the steering, it binds too. So you have to get a little bit more throttle. It 
Right now I have the functionality where the lights are all turned off. Horn is turned off. I'm going to turn on a couple things so you guys can see what that's like. So this is the engine. So dip switch four is the engine. You'll see why I don't like the engine. This is the idle. I'm fine with that. That's throttle. It's in a constant loop. Which is funny because on the Hummer, it doesn't do that. And the indicator noise. Reverse. I think I've had enough about the, the, the audio. And that's the typical lights that you have. I'll show you the rear. That's what it looks like in the rear. I don't know if you're able to see that because it's really bright in the studio. But yeah, that's what the rear looks like. That's the front. Uh, there are, let me see if I can hit the right switch. Yeah, so I'm pressing the B switch right now on the controller, right here, B. And this is what's giving me the different functionalities of the lights. And I'll just show you the indicator that's showing there. Then we'll press the next one, left, right. I'll show you the rear too while, it's, while I'm going. So you get reverse lights and just turn the lights off. You're going to flip the third dip switch to the closed position. I don't mind the lights on or off. For me, it doesn't really matter, but I think it's, it's kind of cool that those functionalities are there. The smoke position, I'm never going to run it. So for me, that, that doesn't really matter. I don't really care for my RCs to smoke. But it's a cool RC and for $70 US, if you're an FJ guy, it may be worth the pickup. You probably could do something in regards to the modulation, swapping out the motor. ESC, if you plan on keeping those functionalities, good luck. Probably do something with the motor and improve some of the modulation with this. Servo, it's okay for an RC like this. I'd like to figure out what the binding is more so, because that's more my concern. I was trying to mess around with this for a little bit and it's definitely, there's definitely a binding issue with it. And you guys could see that a little bit. I'm gonna to try to show you this too. Hopefully, there we go. So that's on throttle. You hear it? I had another RC that was like this in the past and I think I know where it's binding. So I may have to address it. Just It's just way down on the list in regards to um, projects at this point. I got a lot of projects working and this is not going to be one of them at this point. Fun little RC. And it's very cool looking. We're gonna leave it here guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok for the latest posts of the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again guys.